Amazon Kitchen Gadget that you need. This is the One Join Blender and it's perfect for making hummus. First things first, let's add half of a cup of tahini. I promise it tastes a lot better than this looks right now. Then we are gonna add that to our one join blender. Then what we are gonna do is we are gonna juice two lemons. We're just gonna juice them directly into the blender. Get all that juice out. Personally, I love hummus and I'm super excited that I'm gonna be able to make this on my own now. I've always wanted to try, but I never had a really high quality blender that I thought would do a great job to get that super nice consistency that really good hummus has. So just finishing up these lemons. Then we're going to add the chickpeas. Now with the chickpeas, we are going to have to strain them first because we're going to use some of that juice later, just not all of it. So let's take our beans. Obviously we're using chickpeas. Now we're just going to empty the juice into this cup and save it for later. If you want your hummus to be a little more wet, and a little less creamy, you're always able to add more of this juice that will give you that more liquidy consistency, but it's all depending on what you really want. Then we just open this can up and put all of our chickpeas inside. I am really hoping that I can master this recipe because my family is hummus obsessed. And I think that even is an understatement of just how much they love hummus. So again, we are straining the liquid from the chickpeas. Now for the basic recipe itself, we still do add some of that liquid. So that's what I'm leaving inside here. So when you see me pour this into the blender, there will be some liquid, but that is intentional. Next up, we are gonna add two cloves of garlic. Then we are going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. We're also going to use olive oil as a topping for our hummus, which is going to also give it a really nice little decoration as well as keep it really smooth. Then we're going to add a little more of the juice from inside the chickpeas, just a little bit. Next, we're going to add half of a teaspoon of salt. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of cumin. We are also going to drizzle this on as well as a garnish on top. I love how this smells. And then we are all ready to put it in our one join blender and let's see how smooth we can get this hummus. So again, we are going to put the lid on, then we are going to lock this little top piece in. So put it in and then turn so that you can lift it up and nothing's gonna happen. Now let's put it in the blender and let's see how good our hummus is gonna turn out. You can hear it beep so that it's ready for us. We're gonna put 
the soundproof shield on top. We are gonna turn it on, power on. Now let's see, what do we wanna do? We want to put it on probably more of like a smoothie and then start. <laughs> an easy recipe thanks to the one join commercial blender let's see how our hummus turned out look at how rich and creamy this is coming out it is so nice I am loving this. Now what we are gonna do is we are gonna garnish on top a little bit of the olive oil. Just a drizzle. And then we are also gonna grab a little bit more of the fumin. And again, just sprinkle it on top. So we'll just grab a little bit and just sprinkle it all over the top and just like that you have hummus in a little over five minutes look how delicious this came out and i'm so excited to try it let's see how it came out it came out great and i'm so surprised that i was able to make this in a blender